Very cold morning there, about 9 degrees right now. You've got some light snow coming down, but really just indicating how cold the central U.S. is staying as we head across the next few days. Winds are blowing in and around the Denver area, not so bad, about 4 miles per hour, but check to the west there. they got the 18, 16 mile per hour winds, and that's making for the wind chill to make it feel like minus 13 in Eldora, 0 in Broomfield, 2 in Boulder. You get the idea. It's cold, and today it's going to be cold in Minot. How about minus three for a high or nine in Pierre, South Dakota? Yeah, that's what you call cold people. So, you know, if I'm complaining about the cold down here in Atlanta, I just got to take a look at these maps and realize yeah, I need to shut my yeah. mouth. Fargo <laughs> tomorrow, their high will be minus one. Denver, you'll make it into the 20s. And as we get into Wednesday, you can really see the influence of all of this cold air. Minneapolis, your high just one. Des Moines, 15 degrees. So the cold air not going anywhere fast. That's the point. Chicago, you are also going to feel the influence of this. Your average high, 38 we're not going anywhere near it. 20s for the next five chilly but fabulous days. <laughs> fabulous, right? <laughs> All right, New York is looking pretty good right now, but if uh, what's going on to the south is any indication, could have some messy weather coming up. Indeed. As well as some ice. We'll let you know how long it could linger. And iced over power lines usually lead to power outages. Up next, the one most important thing you can do to avoid a deadly mistake. Spicy chicken sandwich.